It has been claimed Taylor Swift and her longtime actor boyfriend Joe Alwyn have allegedly had an amicable split that was not dramatic. A source told Entertainment Tonight, the relationship had just run its course. It's why, Alwyn, hasn't been spotted at any shows. While Page Six has claimed that the pair broke up a few weeks ago. Express.co.uk has reached out to Taylor Swift's representatives for comment. The couple has been romantically linked since 2016 and the hitmaker has frequently voiced her feelings for the British hunk, 32, in her songs over the years. The relationship came soon after Taylor's relationship with Tom Hiddleston. Taylor and Joe have been very private when it comes to their relationship and made every effort to keep it out of the spotlight. Despite being together for years, Taylor and Joe have never made their red carpet debut as a couple. Joe has co-written music with Taylor under the pen name, William Bowery, on her past three albums, Folklore, Evermore, and Midnights. Don't miss! Angela Rippon, 78, details warning signs her mum was not well, latest, Beyonce's mum Tina targeted by rock-throwing visitor outside home, latest, Saturday night takeaways and can't control his giggles after mishap, latest, Taylor gushed about her beau in rare remarks when she accepted the Grammy for Folklore. Joe is the first person that I play every single song that I write and I had the best time writing songs with you in quarantine," she said. Last year, Taylor seemingly shut down engagement rumors in the lyrics of the track Lavender Haze which opens her 10th studio album Midnights. It appeared to be a direct hit at a July 2022 report that Taylor had been engaged to her boyfriend for a few months. In Lavender Haze she sings, all they keep asking me slash as if I'm gonna be your bride slash the only kind of girl they see slash is a one night or a wife. She then appeared to hit back at the outdated line of questioning, I'm damned if I do give a damn what people say slash the 1950s as they want from me. However, Taylor will continue to lyrically explore her long-term romance on her Ears tour which kicked off in Glendale, Arizona late last month. The 52-date US tour has an incredible 44-song set list spanning four different albums, with Taylor not having toured live, due to pandemic cancellations, since 2018 to promote reputation. She is set to wrap up the US leg of the tour on August 9, before releasing international dates, 